Way back in 2007, I attempted to earn the infamous 7 day survivor achievement in Dead Rising. And long story short, my Xbox 360 broke twice while going for it. So I gave up naturally. But finally, earlier this year, I spent 14 hours straight unlocking it on the PS4. And now I'm back with a Deluxe Remaster to do it all over again. At least, that's what I thought. First, what is the 7 day survivor challenge? It involves the infinite mode, a mode in Dead Rising you unlock after beating overtime mode and earning the best ending. In this mode, your goal is to survive for as many days as possible, with each in-game day taking around 2 hours in real time. The thing that made this a kind of insane challenge in the original was if you died, you would have to restart from the very beginning, possibly losing many, many hours of progress, simply because you couldn't save the game. This made it incredibly stressful, because any mistake could be a last. But that was the original, now we're moving on to the new one, and in my opinion, the greatly improved infinite mode. I can now save the game, and instead of waiting around for hours and hours, I can just simply use the watch and fast forward time, essentially turning this stressful 14 hour marathon into a fun 2 or 3 hours. And that's just scratching the surface, it also comes with many other changes I'll talk about soon. Something I do however want to say, I still in a weird way loved going for the 7 day survivor trophy in the original. Sure, it's boring, but it's absolutely an achievement I will never forget. So let's begin with earning the 7 day survivor trophy. Just like before, the first thing I absolutely must do is go and grab the 3 essential books that increase the amount of health you'll gain from food. Why? Well in this mode, heals are very limited, and my health will slowly deplete over time. Every 1 minute and 40 seconds, I will lose 1 block of health. First though, I grabbed the infinite durability book that I unlocked for saving 50 survivors in the 72 hour mode. With this, weapons won't break, and guns have unlimited ammo. This is a completely new book in the Deluxe Remaster, and honestly, it makes everything a breeze. I grabbed the real Mega Buster that I unlocked for defeating 53,594 zombies, the whole population of Willamette. Honestly though, while this was great in the original, here they have massively decreased the rate of fire and in turn indirectly nerfed it quite a lot. Right, those books. First I picked up the Health 2 book in the Entrance Plaza Sinister Reed Shop. Then while heading towards the second book, I took out my first survivor. Can I just like one shot headshot? Oh, she's dead. Ooh, orange juice. Oh my god, she gave me the freaking chainsaw. That's insane. She gave me the freaking chainsaw. And it won't break. Whereas in the normal games, we save all the survivors. In this mode, we kill them and take any loot that they might have. Usually drop in at least one healing item. Survivors and psychopaths spawn all over the mall. In this version, I can also see on the map what area of the mall that they're currently in. Another new thing you might have noticed, defeating zombies also has a chance of spawning a box. These can contain weapons, including some really powerful ones which we will be using. They'll even drop some small healing items. The reason I love this change is because in the original there was really no reason to defeat zombies, meaning you just grabbed all of the food in the area and waited, whereas now you actually get rewarded with food there's always a reason to go out and hunt zombies. In Wonderlands Plaza, I grabbed the second book from Sir Book a lot. Speaking of powerful weapons, a zombie dropped the huge LMG you could previously only get from the prisoner's jeep. With this, you can literally destroy anything. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Oh my, I've, I've got unlimited ammo for this. Wow. The two biggest downsides are you can't move and shoot, and also you can't store the weapon. So anytime you want to like pick up an item, you have to drop the gun and pick it back up. And as you can see, that sometimes proved a little bit difficult. Can I please pick it up though? I quickly went over to the North Plaza and to the room next to Chris Lips for my third and final book. With that, I'm all set. The way I'm going to tackle this is by starting in movie land grabbing any healing items in the area and then slowly rotating around the map. Fun fact, the food court could actually, in the original, would actually crash the game if you went there after like day 
three or four, I think it was. So you needed to stay away from the food court. You go in there, get what you needed, then never go back because, yeah, crashing in the original would have would have sucked. Defeating any survivors or psychopaths for the extra food. Once I've grabbed all of the food in the area, I run over to the bathroom for a quick bathroom break and take advantage of the new time skip mechanic to advance time and then use all of my healing items. All right, here we are, Colby's Movie Land. This is where we're gonna start. We're gonna get all of the food we can from this area and just make our, like, progress through the mall. Because even though you can get food from survivors and stuff, and zombies, it seems zombie wise, the food that you actually get isn't going to be like orange juice, you know, it's going to be like cabbages and stuff, which only heal like three bars of health. Coffee creamer. <laughs> the weapons go crazy. Gotta be careful as well, because if you don't pick up food and you leave the area, like if you've never picked it up and you leave the area, it'll still be there. But for that, for example, because I just dropped it, if I was to leave this zone and come back, it would despawn. You'd like it'd be completely wasted. Oh. Jonathan. Oh my god, he's got no chance. <laughs> that looked ridiculous. Once I was done with Movie Land, I moved into Paradise Plaza. I grabbed all of the food, advanced time. I went over to the entrance plaza. I tried to escape through the front gate. It could have given us a cool easter egg or something, you know? Like, if you come over here, you know, like Resident Evil 1, where you try and go out the mansion too many times and the dogs come. There should be a little easter egg like that. I actually don't remember where it is. Maybe there isn't one in the entrance plaza. And then noticed a person had spawned on the rooftop. Right, I'm going to go to the security room. I can check the security room then as well for food and go to the rooftops. I think there's maybe one or two there. And change my clothes as well. Who have I not played as yet? You know what? I haven't dressed up as Chuck. Let's do that. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Brock's up here. He wants a fist fight, bro. <laughs> we ain't having a fist fight, mate. Yeah, look at him. He's just stood there wanting a fist fight. The only reason I fist fight you on the other, on the main playthrough is because I've got no choice, mate. Right now I've got a choice. So I'm just going to shoot you. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you for the stuff. Damn, I'm already on day three. I feel like I've barely done anything. In the original, this would have been, what, six hours of game time? Back at the entrance plaza, while grabbing some food, I came across Carlito, who was certainly ready to fight. Oh shit. Freaking sniper. Jesus, bro. Yo, that timing might have been perfect to... Uh, to, to save. <laughs> Crap. Alright. Oh, he's throwing grenades. Alright, we'll let him throw that. And then we'll finish him off. Alright, you better give me some good, bro, because you just wasted a lot of my health. Okay, he did. Give me two full heals. Worth it. Thankfully, surviving the encounter, I used the rest of the place's food and headed towards Alfresca, where I got my second surprise. Uh, boy, you little pube, I forgot about the freaking cops shooting at you now. Right, so, please get off me. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Go do this to me. <laughs> Just give me the bloody weapon. Thank you. Oh, we got the, uh, the cultists out here. I don't ever remember seeing the cultists in the original. Then again, in the original, I didn't explore as much as this. So that could also be part of the reason I maybe not, never saw them. Because I, did, I, did, I didn't even want to load into new areas in the original unless I really had to. Oh my god, they dropped so much stuff. Fortunately, I had the LMG, which made short work of the cultists. Might use this for a little bit. Been using that other gun for so long. I then stuffed myself with some more food and advancing time in the gym. It's actually really satisfying to just run through spraying them. I feel like we've been eating too much crap, so let's, uh, let's work out a little bit. Imagine dying to, to a punching bag. Bro, the world difficult to hit, what the hell? Never seen someone hit a, <laughs> hit a punching bag like this before. 
Wait, you can't ride the the machines anymore? What? Come on, man. What's that about? I wanted to get my exercise in. In the original, you could get on these buggers and like ride them for some PP points. Can we still do the... Or at least we can still do the, the running machines. So that's good. Oh, yo, chill. Do you want to like back up, son? I'm trying to exercise out here. There we go. All the treadmills are done. And since we can't ride the bikes on this one, our exercise time is over. All right. I'm going to go over here real quick as well and cook the, uh, the meat. I advise do not do this in real life. Do not put a big slab of raw meat in the microwave because it will absolutely not come out well done. It'll come out with you shit in your pants. Moving into the food court. I got my biggest surprise yet. Wait, what the hell? Soldiers? Wait, why is the soldiers? Oh no, that's not good. I do not want to deal with soldiers. That sucks. I need the big boy gun again if I'm now going to have to deal with these. While here, I grabbed a bunch of wine and then went back into Alfresco because the food court had no way of advancing time. While getting a little drunk, I had survived for five days. Boom. Five days survivor. Let's go. We're almost there. Only two more to go. Now back at the food court to get any food left behind. Damn, that makes the soldiers a hell of a lot easier. Shit. Bro. Fuck. Bro. Oh my god. Right, that was the scariest part of the whole run so far. That was actually... That really scared me. Bro, I can't roll. Oh my god. That's crazy. That almost ended the run right there. Okay, the soldiers are s still stressful. This gun melts them, but obviously if they actually end up hitting you, uh, they, they, you drop the gun and then they basically just stunlock you. I'm going to have to be really careful about that. Oh my god, are you serious? Don't do this. Nope, I don't want to do that. I just I just I just want my gun back. No. <laughs> Give me my goddamn gun. Oh my god, I'm being trolled. The food court, bro, I'm telling you. It was a troll in the original with it crashing your game. And it's a troll in this version because I mean, well, we can see why. I almost died twice. And I've lost my goddamn weapon. Pretty sure I remember it. There's a bit of food up on top of here. And there's a book. Increase attack power of firearms. I think that's another new go uh, new book. There must be a, like quite a few new books then in this version. I feel like I've come across maybe five at this point. Six? With that book clenching moment in the rearview mirror. Nothing else could possibly go wrong, right? Not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous to go into the into Wonderlands in case there's a ton of soldiers. Shit, there is. Bro, I don't, I don't like this. I do not like these soldiers, man. Let's see how fast I actually kill the soldiers with a with a butt. That is actually quite a lot better, to be honest. I dashed into Wonderlands. Taking out a few more soldiers, made Janet do a dance and stuff my face a little more. Sorry, Janet. <laughs> Next, I headed into the leisure park for a few more items. This was such a nice little spot to uh, hide in the original up here. You just have to be careful with the, the rolling food like the apples and the oranges because they just roll off the side. And then decided to get some rest and finish off until tomorrow. And while watching a YouTube video about Dead Rising, I saw someone fail the seven day survivor because of a weird bug. While advancing time, there's a small chance 
that when you cancel it, the time will, for whatever reason, just continue ticking along, skipping ahead and just killing Frank straight up. And then this happened. No, I'm just kidding. It didn't happen. Or at least, not yet anyway. With only 13 hours left, I headed into the North Plaza for what I hoped would be the last bit of food I needed. Killing Jolie and Chris Lips. After leaving, I got into a little trouble. I might be able to complete this day. I'm not... Oh, crap, soldiers. But where'd they go? No, 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 no. Oh my god, the soldiers are so stressful. I checked both the gun shop and Carlito's hideout, finding nothing. Or at least, nothing I could use. Alright, we got any food up in Carlito's hideout? Really? No food? Bro. Bro. No food? There's plenty of food right there, because I see all that food. I now had enough food to see me through day 7. Because I've got... Yeah, I've got enough wine to actually pop it now. But I'm not going to. We need to think of somewhere cool where we could pop it. What the hell was that? What the hell, Larry? What are you doing up here, Larry? You're supposed to be in the meat factory. Wow, he doesn't get stunned either. That's crazy. Oh, okay, maybe he does. He's trying to throw knives in. Whoa, chill. Spamming knives. Alright, we killed Larry. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. We could do it in the same place I did it in the original. At the entrance. Excuse me. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Oh. No. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh my god. That was so close. That was so close. Oh my god. You see what I mean about the soldiers though? Oh no, 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 no. Leave me alone. You're ruining everything. Go away. Right, I gotta be careful in case another one decides to uh, show up. Yo, my heart is still racing from that a second ago. What the hell? What? No! No. Stop. Right, oh my god. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're in position. What are they doing? Stay over there. Just, yep, yeah, right there, over there. We're good, we're good. We hear the ringing. It's now 11 p.m. One hour. And we're done. I'm nervous about them two over there in case they decide to... Wait, there's a soldier down there. What? They're everywhere. I'm going to take him out. I don't trust him. Right. But Whoa, what the hell? Some <laughs> this game does not want me to survive. Like, what the hell? Where did she just randomly cut? She tried to smack me in the back of the head with a freaking bowling ball. What the hell? And to think I saved you. Jeez, never again. And that was it. Some tense moments for sure. But in the end, I had survived seven days and earned myself another platinum. Subscribe for more, and if you haven't already, go check out the full 100% platinum video.